But here comes the leader after the short program, Satoko Miyahara. Representing Japan, Satoko Miyahara. Reigning national champion, as mentioned, the reigning world silver medalist as well. This is her second Grand Prix event. Bronze this year at Skate America. And that's actually three straight bronze finishes on the Grand Prix circuit dating back to last year. Can she finally make it a gold? And sometimes when the situation is presented that it can happen, it's too real and the skater falters. She's like a little sprite on the ice, a powerful little tiny sprite. Strong skater, good skating skills. The jumps are consistent. The tiny. It's the one thing that kind of holds her back from being in that top echelon consistently. She's been working with Olympic champion Ilya Kulik on her jumps, and he's told her that as well. You've got to jump higher, girlie. Actually, I can picture him exactly the same. <laughs> nice triple loop, though. Lovely polish and finish to her movements in the step sequence and the quick changes of direction, upper body movement, everything there. So she's going for the highest level, a level four in the footwork. I think she might get that. Interesting that um, she just she doesn't jump as high as Ashley Wagner, but does complete the revolutions, mm -hmm. and she gets full credit for that. So she has a knack for that quick turn in the air that allows her to get the three jumps over with much faster. Three turns, excuse me. so tight in the air. Beautiful foot position, feet really close together, no gap between her legs. That looked like Ilya Kulik's been working on <laughs> that combination. That was really nice across the ice. One jumping pass left. Doesn't seem like... I don't think the word intimidated is in her vocabulary. Yeah, I was going to say <laughs> something like that. I think you... I just realized that you just won your first NHK trophy. It's a nice moment when you skate out your program and you know you've won it. Coach counting the rotations there. <laughs> yes, all good. <laughs> Not over till it's over.
Well, the Japanese fans once again being brought to their feet. We saw it yesterday with Yuzuru Hanyu. Absolutely exceptional. Will they take gold again, this time in the ladies? Satoko Miyahara looking for her first gold on the Grand Prix circuit. Everything there but a triple-triple. But, um, you know, it just seems that she's got great strength, good timing. She's consistent. She's a strong competitor. I wouldn't be surprised that there's room for a triple-triple in that program somewhere. And you can see she did not leave the ice very much. She's a tiny little thing, so maybe in proportion to her height, actually, her jumps are not that small. But it does leave you with the impression that she is not senior. But everything else has matured so much in the last 24 months. The presentation in the program is just exquisite. She's learned how to take a moment like that and just totally make you involved and go with her. For example, that axle in slow-mo, you can see that she doesn't go up, then in. Everything just simply goes straight in, and she can get away with it because of that tight rotation that we've talked about during the program. But as you said, she's so clean. When her blade lands, it's going in exactly the right direction. So she will need 113.60 to take the lead away from American Courtney Hicks. Yeah, she gets it. 133.58. Her first career Grand Prix win. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. So humble. The coaches, I think, are more excited than her. And she is the winner of the competition. So she's feeling pretty good about herself. Held on to the lead from the short program right into the three. And there are the final results. So Mausada does end up on the podium, but it is third. It's Courtney Hicks for the Americans who take silver. 